It's Sunday night, and the National Security Advisor, General McMaster, has come out and said that the crisis with North Korea is now coming to a head since the official ceasefire in 1953 on July 27th. North Korea has never backed down before firing missiles at Japan, testing nuclear weapons. But it appeared on the 15th that they had backed down. But then, as soon as the 16th rolled around, they tested an ICBM aimed at Japan, but it blew up on the launch pad. We covered that yesterday. The reason this is so important is North Korea is threatening to nuke its neighbors. North Korea is threatening to attack Japan, South Korea. And China, after negotiations with President Trump, said, we're going to come in and threaten to basically militarily attack them if they launch a provocation. So as soon as the press reported, as we did, that North Korea had finally blinked, it appears in a face-saving uh, activity, his generals blew up a missile, probably one of those dummies they admit was fake, that was in the parade uh, two days ago, on the launch pad. But regardless, why is it still coming to a head? We have to ask General McMaster that, and he breaks down the reasons. It's on Infowars.com. It's on CNN. General McMaster, all options on the table for North Korea. McMaster, North Korea coming to a head. That's this Sunday, April 16th, 2017. And you've got the situation in Syria. You've got all these other situations where most analysts agree this is the most dangerous time in modern history. I'm drawing attention to this so there's public attention so we can have a debate about it to avert war. But McMaster says they're polishing all options for military strikes on North Korea. That wouldn't be an offensive strike, but I'm not, by the way, calling for it. God, who would call for that? But the problem is under common law or international law, North Korea is aiming missiles at Japan and South Korea, testing them, threatening to preemptively nuke people first. So if someone's got a gun pointed at you saying, I'm going to pull the trigger any minute, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, then do you have a right to then stand up against them and go after them? So tomorrow, we're going to have Paul Watson in studio from London. Mike Cernovich is going to stay an extra day. He's going to be in studio with us. And so much more tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. That said, I'm quite frankly honored by MSM attacking me and making up lies and spinning and twisting and saying I love Hitler and all this other crazy stuff because it just discredits them. It's all lies. But they've now hit a level of deception that is so complete that it's next level. And at this time, I'm not able to get into all that, but just understand, ladies and gentlemen, you want people to fight the globalists. You want folks to stand up and try to defend lower taxes, uh, sovereignty, the right to practice Christianity, uh, the uh, right to all the things that we hold dear in this country. Understand, there's going to be a fight for that. And there is a fight going on for that right now. And I don't like to brag, but people need to know why we're attacked second only to Trump. And that's because we do reach 45 million people a week conservatively. We do reach some weeks over 80 million. The globalists are scared of you having a focal point, you believing you can take action. We haven't even posted on InfoWars. I'm so understaffed. Friday, hundreds, or they say over a thousand, but hundreds attacked uh, out of the thousand anti-free speech demonstrators in Berkeley. Hundreds of them attacked the libertarian conservative nationalist in Berkeley, they'd already beat women up many times and beat others up and shut down a bunch of different events for Milo and others. This time, I saw the images on the news and I, and I saw it on Instagram and Twitter, but not on Infowars.com. And I'm not bitching, I'm just saying we're that under crude on the weekend with like two or three people that we didn't even cover that Infowars folks battled and stood up and ran over those cowards. And it was amazing. I did tweet out myself uh, the image of what they were doing, but this is amazing. We're not calling for violence. They were physically attacking like Nazi brown shirts. They were going after people, famously beating up women, saying no free speech. And to see Info Warriors at the tip of the spear was amazing. And when I say hey, it's not even on Info Wars, we're so busy covering the latest breaking news in North Korea and the economy, everything else that's happening, that a lot of times we're going to drop the ball. So if you see us dropping the ball, Realize that's because we're overwhelmed. We need you to start your own websites, your own YouTubes, your own Facebooks, and take our articles and our videos that the enemy's trying to block everywhere and spread them to everybody. And lastly, continue to pray for us and financially support us getting the products, whether it's water filtration or non-GMO heirloom seeds or uh, nutraceutical supplements, big discounts that uh, end tomorrow, 40% off. Uh, the Pro Pure Gravity Fed Stainless Steel Water Filtration System. We've never offered that before. It's a lost leader. A lot of other big specials in tomorrow on X2 and other products. That's how we fund ourselves is you. 
So again, thank you for the support. The globalists don't know what to do. They are desperately trying to destroy us, strangle us, censor us, without turning us into superstars. Well, guess what? Freedom is already popular. Infowars and our viewers and our community is already one of the dominant forces in the world. So we don't need you to say we're, quote, stars. We're not stars. We're here on this planet like real people living our lives, trying to have a future. You're the ones in our business trying to be dominant, trying to dominate us. So you look for a fight, you're now getting one. So listeners, you can feel the quickening happening. You can feel the energy levels rising. You can see all over the world evil coming out of the gates, like gladiators against us. This is the time to pray, to be focused, to be involved, and to be supportive and to spread the word. Call C-SPAN. Call Local Talk Radio. Spread our links everywhere. Let folks know InfoWars is under massive attack because you're under massive attack. Again, I want to salute the InfoWars of every race, color, creed, you name it, who bleed red blood and want freedom. I want to salute you for your actions. And I wanted to give Trump a victory because it was a victory. North Korea's never backed off in a missile test or an or a, or a, a a bomb or hydrogen bomb test. They didn't do it on the 15th. Then on Sunday, that was late Saturday our time, Sunday their time, they detonated some missile that blew up on the pad. And, and I see the disinfo trolls. Jones claimed it was a victory for Trump. They actually did fire the missile. They were going to test a, a bomb as well. North Korea did back down, and that is a very good sign. Trump wants peace. McMaster, I'm not demonizing McMaster, don't know enough about him, I and mean, I've studied him, but he may be a good guy. He, it, it, just like we told you a week after, he wants a wider war in Syria when most analysts say it's a total nightmare and we're on the wrong side. So we're watching this, we're involved, but here's the deal. Trump's not perfect, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. But the globalists and the media want us to get pissed if he isn't perfect and doesn't give us instant gratification every time so we get all pissed and take our, take our toys and go home from the sandbox. No, we're involved. The globalists have been dealt a huge defeat with Trump being elected and other nationalists worldwide. Globalism is unelected, anti-human crap, pro-Islamist crap, and it's in trouble. We're on the march. They're on the run. So listen, get more committed now than ever because we're winning. And the enemy has given us their full pushback. And this is history kicking their ass politically. So spread that link, Infowars.com forward slash show. Coming up tonight, Infowars.com, and on the Facebook, and on the Periscope, and on the YouTube. We're doing live feeds with myself, Paul Watson, Mike Cernovich, and others here in the ATX Central Texas. We're retaking Texas. We're retaking America. Trump isn't perfect. Nobody is. But it's about an actual president that runs the country and the executive branch, not globalists. And that's why they're so pissed. All these shadowy boards, all these CFR groups want to sell us out to China and North Korea. That's over. Does, does it mean Trump won't be a strong man at some levels? Absolutely he will. The point is, this is about America reasserting itself. So get ready. That's why the enemy's so scared. It's tripled their lies. And guess what? It's like you drop hydrogen bombs on Godzilla politically. You only wake his ass up. So the sleeping giant is waking up. And so get ready, everybody, from our audience, our viewers, the activists, the true patriots out there, and for myself and everybody else. You can feel the energy level rising. So get ready to go to the next level. Infowars.com forward slash show. Now spread that link.